it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird. And everyone's favourite bird, Archie. If you've been on my channel for a while, then you'll know that I have a pretty good thing going on with YesStyle. Every month, the YesStyle marketing team gives me a 500 US dollar budget to spend on their site. This month, I thought that I would switch it up a little bit, and I decided to get some fairy lights. Now, Christmas is right around the corner, so fairy lights, Christmas lights, very, very similar. We just moved into a new apartment, and I've been so, so excited to decorate. I've put fairy lights up in some of the rooms, and I usually get my fairy lights from Ikea. But when I, I actually didn't know that YesStyle had fairy lights available. One of my subscribers sent me an adorable chicken lamp from YesStyle. And I was like, what? They have lights? And then I searched for lights and there were fairy lights and lamps and bedside lamps and all sorts of things. So I went nuts. I spent the whole $500 budget on fairy lights. I'm gonna set these all up around the house in the lead up for Christmas. Some of them are not necessarily, actually, I don't think any of them are necessarily Christmas related lights. You could get some for Christmas or you could just get them to have in your house at any time of the year. So they sent me this huge box. This is very, very heavy. It's about four or five kilos worth of lights. I had really, really hoped to wear earrings in this video, but I don't think it's possible with my good friend Archie on my shoulder. So we're gonna have to take those away. Say goodbye, say goodbye. They're, they're not for you, sorry. So uh, let's get into it. So right off the bat, this is really, really cute. This is a little flamingo. I don't know if these need batteries or if they come with batteries, so let's see. Okay, so here's the flamingo. Look, Archie, is that a bird? <gasps> sorry, mate. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think it may actually have batteries. It's got a little slip in here. Let's see, ready? Ha! Yay! Hang on, I feel like I'm gonna have to turn off some of these lights. That's really cute. So I will put all the prices up on the screen for you guys. I can't remember them off the top of my head. That is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be from the pictures. How cute is that? What do you think, Archie? Does not like. Really, really does not like the glowing bird. But yeah, like I said, it's very, very small. So now I know this isn't a fairy light. This is just like a, a night light kind of thing, but there are fairy lights, I promise. This gets like 10 out of 10. That's adorable. And it feels very well made. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, when you, when you bop it, I don't know if it goes dimmer or if that's just broken. <laughs> I'm not sure. Look, it went dimmer. I have a feeling it's not meant to do that. <laughs> look, just turning it on and leaving it like that, it's great. And look, Archie, I promise it's not that scary. It's really not. It's, it's, it's not real. It's not real. It's not gonna hurt you. His friend. His friend. No? Okay, never mind. Next up, this is a cloud light. I hope this one has a battery. I think it does. Haha! How cute is that? That is, oh, it just has the most adorable little face on it. I think that this came in a couple of different colors. So this is the white cloud with the blue light, but there were also like different colored clouds with different colored lights shining from the inside. I don't know, what, every time I hit it, it goes brighter and darker. So maybe it's meant to do that, I don't know. But that's really, really cute. I love that one so much. This one is a little star. So these stars, you could also get them in different colors as well. I think they had pink and blue. Of course, I got a yellow star because it, it makes sense. Oh, oh, here comes Archie. What do you think? Do you see? What do you think? This one's not as scary as the flamingo, huh? Not scared of the, not scared of the star? Just scared of the flamingo. Is that it? Oh, we like the star, do we? Is it because it's smiling? These next ones, these are expensive from memory, like very, very expensive. So I don't know if they're gonna be worth it, but I was just so drawn to them. They're so beautiful. These are books. Oh, there's instructions, but it's all in Korean. So that doesn't help. Oh no. Wait, does this need to be plugged in to work? What? Okay, so I'll have to get back to you on this one. This, it's basically a book like this. This is a Sherlock book and it also opens up like that. And on the inside, this is actually a light, but I have no idea how to charge it. It's got a little cord and it's got a little port uh, and the port has like an adapter that almost looks like an Android phone adapter and then it's got a button. 
So I don't know if you charge it and then you unplug it or if it has to be plugged in to work. So we'll revisit this later in the video. I picked up three of them. So I got Sherlock Holmes and I also got Anne of Green Gables and Beauty and the Beast. So we'll look at these ones later once I figure out how to charge them up. Hey guys, so I've ended up filming this video across two different days because there were so many fairy lights and I just couldn't charge all of them in one day. I've had a proper sort of investigation into these book lamps and it turns out they don't have any battery packs inside. You can't charge them, they have to be plugged in. I guess I thought that they would be battery operated and I'm really disappointed that they're not because they've got this, you know, really long cord that sticks out. So what that is, I'll show you, this little sort of USB type port here. Then you take like a standard phone charger, it doesn't come with this cord, but this is like an Android phone charger. So you just take that and you plug that in, you just plug it in here, then once it's plugged in, plug it into the wall and away you go. So here's what it looks like switched on. Now basically every book has the cover with some sort of little illumination sort of cut out there, and then when you open it, there's like an inspirational quote or something here and uh, then this is like a, a page and then there's the actual light itself. On the side it looks like a proper book and even on the back it's got a little sort of what does it say here? Never theorize before you have data. Invariably you end up twisting facts to suit theories instead of theories to suit facts. True facts. And then inside the book it says you see, but do not observe. The distinction is clear. I would really love to be able to plug all three of them in at the same time, but that's a lot of cords and a lot of Android chargers that you need to be able to do that. It's got a little button for on and off, so you can leave it permanently plugged in. There's also Anne of Green Gables, and this book is really, really beautiful. It's got the little cutout of the hat just there, and it says uh, Lucy Maud Montgomery. On the side, it's got this little sort of drawing of Anne. And on the back it says, tomorrow is always fresh with no mistakes in it yet. And it's got all the little characters there too. So the attention to detail is really, really great. The inside of this book says, true friends are always together in spirit. That's what this one looks like. So when you open the front cover, they become really, really bright. So you can actually use it as a proper sort of nightlight. But then, hey, no, stop it. But when they're closed, the light just shines through here. They are so pretty, I love them. The last one is Beauty and the Beast and it's got a little love heart cut out here. No, I'm taking them away, that's it. And when you open this one, the page says, no matter what you will become, I still love you till the end. And then that's, the page is pink for this one, so it sheds a kind of pinkish light. So here's what it would look like if you had it sitting on a bookshelf at night. So you could actually have like all of your books lined up and then have this one kind of sitting in the center of them casting some light, so that could be really, really pretty. That's how they did it in the pictures on the website. That's what I loved about it. But I am kind of bummed out that the cord is there because it kind of ruins the spine of it because the spine of the books is really, really pretty. You could leave it on a bookshelf like that and it looks really lovely. Uh, like I said, if you wanted to get all three of them and line them up on a bookshelf, that's a lot of cords that you're dealing with, but it would look really nice, so it could be worth it. Ah, oh, this one is so cute. This is a little ghost light. How cute's that? He's so adorable. He's got his little arms out. He's a little tiny ghost. What do you think? He wants a hug. You, you want to hug the ghosty? Hug the ghosty? I love this one. This is so cute. Look how cute he is. He can go over here with his friends. Okay, what are you? Oh, this is really cute. So this is a sleeping dog light. Okay, I see another cord here, so I don't know if I've got to charge this one. A single press of the button to adjust the luminance. Okay, we have a cord here. Oh, it's squishy! <gasps> okay, so those other lights, they are all solid. This one is rubber. Oh, it's so cute. Look, it's like a sleeping dog. Let's see, long press. One, two, three. Okay, so he didn't turn on unfortunately. So I'll set this one to charge and I'll come back to visit it later. So this one holds its charge, you just have to bop him like that to get him to change all sorts of different colours. I think that there's different modes, I think that you can hold down the light and you can get different modes to happen. You can also have it just switched on without needing the battery, you can just plug it straight into the power and then you can also use it. But this one is super cute, I love how he's squishy. He's so adorable, little sleeping dog. Don't chew that off. Just play the drums. Ah, oh, this 
This is so cute. Archie, you're gonna freak out. This is adorable. I hope that this works straight away. I hope I don't have to charge it. Oh, I do. It's another one that's got a cord with it. So they're all USB cords by the look of it, so that's good. So okay. It passed the drop test. <gasps> Yay! This one has charge! Okay, so... Oh! Whoa, it went off. What? Oh! Okay, I'm not crazy. They are supposed to turn on and off when you bop them. Look, Archie, it's a bird. Look, Archie. Whoa, why is it... Why is it... Is this because I dropped it? So in the pictures, this one, they actually had it hanging by this. But this isn't secured. Now, I don't know if that just happened because I dropped it and the plastic broke off. Like, I, I was literally trying to open it and I dropped it. So that could be my own fault. Maybe it is supposed to be secured. But it's this little lamp with a little glowing birdie inside. And I guess we're not as intimidated by cute little birds as we are by flamingos. Is that it? We're not intimidated by the cute birds? Is it because he's yellow and the flamingo wasn't? Is that why? So basically, it's on a little bed of grass here, and it looks as though you can have it on the setting where if you bop it, then it goes brighter and darker. I'm so happy with that. That's absolutely adorable. I think Archie quite likes it too. This is a cat. It's got a cord in here for it. It's got a little instruction book all in Korean. So this one came in a few different variations. So it's a sleeping cat, and then, oh, it's completely squishy, look. I'll have to plug that one in and charge that one as well. The cat came in different designs. There was the sleeping cat, and there was a cat that was purring, like a cat that was awake. Archie's not the biggest fan of cats. Sorry, mate. No. Now, I put this one on just for a little while. I only charged him for about half an hour or so. And Archie, no, please, no. So this one has a little button on the bottom here, and you just press it, and it comes on. Now, I can't remember if this one changes colours or not. Just pop him there. Oh, yes, he does. No, no, just bop. Look, Archie. Ready? We don't like cats, do we? Hit the cat. Nasty cat. Naughty cat. Bad cat. We don't like cats. Naughty cat. You tell him. You tell him, Archie. You show him who's boss. You... I think this one's my absolute favourite. It is so cute. I just, I love how he's so round and he's sleeping. And the other styles were really, really cute too. Uh, look, I know, Archie. I know, but look, I, if you don't like the cat, you can just, you can just hit him. See? Now, now he's red because he's hurt. Oh! Oh! He's changing colour! <gasps> I didn't realise they changed colours! Oh! Look! Green! Green cat! Now, I haven't been able to test how long these hold their charge for. You know, I'll charge them all the way up and then I'll leave them switched on and see how long, but I reckon, based on the instruction manual, some of them should get a couple of hours charge. So, uh... Why... It, yeah, you, you gotta do it a bit harder, Archie. No, 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 you don't chew. No, you just, you just whack. That's all you have to do. You just, just hit it. You just beat it up. Just... <laughs> I am beyond excited about this one. This is... This is what started it all for me because one of my subscribers sent me this and asked me to review it and this is what inspired me to find all of the cute lights on Yes Style. I think I'll probably have to charge this one because again this one has a cord so I don't think that this will be a battery run one. Oh I didn't realise it was squishy! Here it is! It's a little light up chicken! It is so cute! There he is, that's what he looks like. He's so, so adorable. This one was really, really expensive. I think this was at least $50. Look, I don't know if it's gonna be worth it or not, but maybe if you have a kid or if you've got a friend that loves this sort of thing, you wanna get them a present or something, could be a good idea. Oh, there's a whole bunch of cords and accessories. It's called Wake Up Chicken. Features can be used as ambient light, night light, alarm. Alarm? Oh! I didn't even look on the bottom of it, hang on. Oh, it's an alarm clock! No wonder it was so expensive. Look, it's an alarm clock. It's got all this stuff on the bottom here. It's actually got a clock and everything. Oh, okay. Oh, hang on, there's battery. So the clock has turned on. How do I turn the light on? Okay, so the, the clock has battery, but I can't get the chicken to turn on. Oh, night light switch. What? <gasps> oh my god, it's talking to me. What? It's making noises. Oh! Oh! Look! Light up 
chicken. Oh, wow. Oh, he's beeping. Oh, I have no idea how to make this work. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time trying to figure this little guy out. Okay, so I've just got the chicken plugged into my makeup vanity. So the way he works, you press his little comb and he'll switch off. And then if you press it again, he switches on. And then if you pull the comb, it increases the brightness. So it can be really, really, really bright. Or if you push on the comb, then it goes back down again. So the dim one is really nice and atmospheric. There is the alarm clock and there's all sorts of timer features and everything for that, but I haven't quite worked it out yet. I've got to play around with it a bit more, but he works plugged into the power or just working off his internal battery. I don't know how long I need to leave it to charge, but I would just be happy to leave it plugged in. I've just got it plugged into my vanity. I've got a USB port in my makeup vanity. But Archie, what do you think? Do you like him? Archie, what happens if I press on your head? If I press on his head, he turns off. What happens if I press on your head? You like him? Is he your friend? Okay, what have we got next? Oh, this is sick! Yeah. Okay, now from memory, I believe that this is a projector and I think that it projects rainbows onto the wall. I'm not entirely sure, I could be wrong. Oh, oh yeah, I think it is. Oh, okay, well it came with batteries, so we should be able to use it. It's just regular double A batteries, so that's good. On. Off. On. <gasps> On. Off. What? What do I do? Install the batteries, open the cover, lift the white pressing according to the direction of arrow. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Can you see the rainbow light shining? It's not very strong. Okay, so this is another one. I'm gonna have to read the instructions and we'll come back to this another time. Okay, so I've been having a play around with this and basically there's all, di there's all different modes. So if you press A, it's just like a, just a single color and there's this little kind of like disc thing and you can rotate it to change the angle of the rainbow. Like that. Um, if you press B, then kind of like goes on and off slowly. It's like a pulsating kind of rainbow. And then if you press C, it's called variation mode. So I'm just gonna put this down and we'll just watch it for a second. So it's just kind of like cycling through different colors. Yeah, you just choose whatever angle that you want it on. And there's also... Well, I'm not entirely sure how to use the different modes. I really have to read the book. This is day two and I still haven't entirely figured this out. But that's really pretty. It just takes AA batteries. I don't know how long it'll last. I don't know if it'll stay going for a couple of hours or if it'll drain really quickly. But I'm really, really happy. It's so cute. Okay, this next one, these are so cute. There's no batteries here, so I'll have to get batteries. Basically, oh, this is really elaborate. So there's, looks like there's two remote controls in here and then it's got a, a thing here for the batteries. And then they're basically like bulbs like this. So they're little light globes like that. And then each one has smaller little lights inside. So we'll find some batteries for this and set these up hanging on a wall. Okay, these are so, so pretty. So uh, what I've done, I've just plugged these into a USB port. They again have a battery pack, but you don't need to use the battery pack. So here they are. So the button, if you press it, it's got all different sort of modes. So uh, I'll just put it on the steady mode. I think it's that one. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just come behind the camera and show you. So it's a really, really long string of lights. Goes all the way along like that. It's actually longer than that, but I just don't have enough wall space. My wall isn't actually long enough to show you the full length. So this is really, really cute. I'm so happy. Look at them up close. So that's what each individual one looks like. They're like that. So they have all these little tiny lights on the inside of the larger globe. Each string that they're hanging off also has little tiny lights. Then it comes down to the globe. And the globes are at all different heights as well. There's one all the way down there. 
So they're really, really pretty. I'm absolutely in love. I think these are some of my favorite fairy lights that I've ever owned. They're actually a lot longer than this, but it's just sort of crammed up on my wall. You can't see the full length of them, but they are really, really long. It goes all, I think it might be like three meters long or something. They're amazing. Look at you, what do you think? Do you like them? What are you? Okay, I see, I see a USB cord. So this is like a neon sign that says love. I've been wanting one of these for so long, so I'm really, really excited about this. I will have to, again, get batteries for this, so this is for later in the video. Okay, so you don't necessarily need batteries to work this. It also has, aside from the little battery pack, it does have a USB cord. So I'm just gonna plug this straight into my iPhone charger. So it has these two little sort of holes here. So you can like hang it up on a wall, you can screw it in if you want to. And this came in a heap of different styles, it wasn't just the word love, like they had, I think they had ice cream cones, they had stars, they had all sorts of things. So I'm really, really happy with this. I love that it's pink, and I'm pretty sure that the words, like you could get all different colour variations of each of these neon signs. So I'm very, very happy. I love neon signs so much, and I'm really glad that it plugs into a USB port, because at least that way you can just use a regular phone charger. But you can run it off batteries if you need to. So this one, this is my favourite, I think, by far. This next one is so, so cute. This is a little moon. Now you could get this moon in different colour combinations. Oh, there's little, little wooden legs. I think this is for a stand. Oh, it has a USB. Oh, that's right. So this one, there were two options. You could order it uh, with a USB cord or with a battery pack. I ordered this one with a USB because I was thinking, that's a lot of batteries. So this is a USB powered one. But, so I don't think that there'll be any charge here. Or will there? No, no charge. So we'll charge this one up. So that's a little tiny moon. So I'm really excited to see what that one looks like. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Like it's a teeny, teeny, tiny little moon, but it is textured like a, like what the moon was textured like based on what you see in the sky, I guess. NASA is quaking. Okay, so I've had the moon on charge overnight. I thought that it was broken for quite a while, for the past like 10 hours, I thought this thing was broken. It took me a really long time to figure it out. But basically, once it's all charged up, on the base here, there's a switch and it either goes on or auto, and I still don't really understand what, what is auto, but there's a little tiny button here. So I was turning it on like that and it wasn't working, like it wasn't switching on, so I thought it was broken. But once you switch it on, then you press the little light. So it goes between blue, yellow, and white. So there you go, how's that? Now this one is rock solid. Some of the others are silicon, but this one's actually hard, so no birds can uh, chew a hole in it. I think the blue light is really pretty, but I think that the yellow light is more ambient, and then the white light is very, very bright. So I'm really, really happy with this one. I love it. And this is the stand that it came with, if you'll just move. There you go. What do you think? Do you like it? Gee, this is why we can't have nice things. Oh, we're almost at the end of the pile. These are so cute. Okay, I can't remember if these are battery operated or what, but look how cute these are. Oh, hi. Hi. So these ones are little lanterns like this, so I have to put AA batteries in there, but they're purple, pink, and white. They're little, little spheres, they're so cute. Hey, look. Daniel's home, yay! What are you doing? Daniel's home. What's in there? What's in there? You wanna go see him? You wanna see Daniel? You wanna come here? No? Okay. No. I'll take one of these. Okay, I'll untangle these, find some batteries, and then we'll hang these up and I'll show you later. Okay, so I don't know if mine are faulty, but they won't turn off. Like, I've put the batteries in, and then they don't turn off once the batteries are in. So this switch, if I switch it this way, this is the off position and now they're blinking at me and then if I switch it to the center They're still blinking and then if I switch it to on then they just st steadily on So I don't know if my off switch is just broken because they're, they're not turning off We're just ha having a little rave, but anyway, they are so cute and they're very long like there's so many of them Look at that. I love these. These are so pretty. I think I'm gonna drape these uh, maybe up above the wardrobe or something 
But yeah, they don't have a little USB port. They've only got the battery pack and it takes three AA batteries. So at, at night you can kind of make out that they're colored. They're, they're giving off a really nice warm light, but during the day they look so pretty, you know, when they're not switched on, just because they're purple and pink and white, they look absolutely lovely. So I'm really, really happy with these. I don't know how quickly they'll drain the batteries. These are amazing. Look at that. There's, there's so many of them. I love these. Okay, these are really, really cool. These are like stars and moons. Okay, again, we have a remote control. More battery operated lights but there's also a USB cord there. So they're basically crescent moons like this, and then they also have little stars hanging too. So we'll set these up. Okay, these are so, so pretty. I love them. So let me count how many strands there are. I think there might be like 10 strands on here. If you press the buttons, you get different modes. So I'll press the button, and then there's this mode, this mode, this one, this one, for when you're having a rave. That one? Oh, that's pretty. Whoa, that's intense. And then when they're on steadily. So these, I absolutely adore them. So there's two different types of strands. There's the strands that have the moon, the crescent moon, and then there's the strands that have the stars. And then every strand has the little lights on it like that. And then with all the different modes and the fact that you can plug it in just to a regular USB port, or you can have batteries, it's really, really versatile, and you don't need a country-specific plug. So these are amazing, and these are, like, they're good for Christmas, but also they're just good for all year round, really. I'll probably put these up, not in the wardrobe like this, but I'll find a proper wall for them, and I'll just have them up properly, because they're, oh, they're beautiful. I just love them. Isn't that nice, Archie? Wow. Okay guys, that's it. That's everything. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much, Yes Style. All of these lights were so, so cute. I mean, look at them. They are adorable. I love all of them so much. I feel like I'm about to have the coziest house ever. If you uh, like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Keep an eye out for some of our next Yes Style videos. If there's ever any items that you want me to review from this, if there's any items you want me to review from Yes Style, just let me know in the comments down below because I can get them really easily. I just have to send them an email, they'll send them to me. You can find us on Instagram. My Instagram is Pretty Pastel Please. Archie's Instagram is Archie Eclectus. And you can also find me on Twitter. It's Pretty Pastel PLS. So, with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah! But when you bop him, wait, hang on.